Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about silence. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, under what circumstances would you say that you prefer being silent as opposed to speaking your mind? Well, uh, I would say that it's usually either when I'm in a group of people where I don't really know if I can be myself uh, without having someone either taking offense or someone getting into an argument with me or someone, uh, uh, you know, having some type of fallout from having a conversation with people. Because uh, unfortunately, I have a way of thinking that. Uh, well, I'm not saying that it's necessarily controversial, it's just that I find that sometimes when I have an honest conversation with people and I try to s explain the way that I look at something, it's difficult to make a, con make a connection with some people and if they don't really understand what I'm saying, I always run the risk of them basically injecting their own meaning into what I'm trying to say and then you sort of have to trust that they are mature enough to understand that yeah we don't agree on this thing or yeah like this is how this person is or so forth and let's just leave it at that it's not always the case uh, and so you might have a lot of consequences coming your way because the way that you express yourself or so forth and so forth and if in the times that we live it's uh, well uh, you know about cancel culture, PCness, and all wokeness and all this sort of stuff, guys. People will take you to the guillotine for anything if they can make a case for it. Uh, it really comes down to just how how much do they dislike you? And trust me, you don't want to give these people more ammunition than you need uh, unless you have financial independence and like you can afford to take those sorts of risks. Uh, because usually, at least what I've found, it is the case where it's better for you to be boring and silent than it is for you to speak your mind to people who doesn't give two shits about, uh, like, okay, they, they, they don't care about some the things that are fundamental about say things like free speech or open, these sorts of things it's not something that matters to them they're very emotional people they're usually very volatile people and if you rub them the wrong way they will attack you uh, so if you have friends that you try if I have friends like and I mean a room of people where I can feel like yeah you can have an honest conversation where you can even stretch the borders a little bit about philosophical topics or things like that these are my type of people where you can have like a really good disc uh, like, uh, conversation about things that would not be appropriate to talk to some people about these are people that I want to talk to but unless that's the group I'm dealing with I'd prefer to just be more silent and like listen more and uh, let other people do the talking uh, because it's simply safer that way and the other time is usually when I'm dealing with the uh, well people who won't understand what I'm saying regardless of how much I try to explain it and this can be in code reviews it can be in meetings it can be anything like guys I have said some some things that I have suggested to my co-workers and uh, managers and so forth I've repeated those things many times over in different formats and the reality is that now these days I try to just say it once, explain my viewpoint, and if they listen, they listen, and if they don't listen, I just say, no, I'm sorry, I don't know. Because the the problem is usually that if they're not listening to you, or if you, you can't convince them if they don't agree, etc., etc., it's usually, especially when we're talking about engineering and stuff, it's very rare, I find at the very least, that software developers and engineers and so forth don't somewhat agree with each other on topics because engineering is usually not a very emotional thing. well there are emotions but it's it's usually you arrive at sort of the same answers it's similar to mathematics in a sense where there's like you can have a hundred people do the same equations and they should r sort of arrive at the same answers right it's not usually a very dispute like a friction heavy disputing uh, area dispute uh, area if that makes sense on average I mean it can 
can happen, of course, especially if you talk about practices. Should you do A or should you do B, even though A and B are equal? Uh, like approaches and stuff like that but when I'm dealing with people uh, like who are either very emotional or like don't believe or like seem to be not they're, they're not open to having a rational conversation uh, where you sort of try to arrive at you know something that you can objectively measure or something that is tangible it's mostly about emotions and belief belief is a big one what you believe is going to have be this or that and you may not have much more than emotions to back it up well then i usually just look at can i is this thing very important to me is this thing something i can pull rank on or like can i influence the situation in the way that i want it and if i can't do any of these things without hurting the relationship or like having some type of fallout i usually just sort of leave it and keep silent because uh, it's usually like I used to push things more than I do these days but I came to the realization that <clears throat> uh, it's better and I mean this is something that took me years and maybe it's because I'm not a parent or maybe I don't know uh, because uh, some of the parents that I've talked to at least they've sort of realized uh, that uh, you can tell your kids a hundred times to not do something and they're not gonna listen to you until they do the thing and they actually go and hurt themselves so you have to let them hurt themselves because if they don't hurt themselves they're not going to have the cognitive understanding that you know putting your hand on that hot plate was not a good idea so let them do it just make sure that they don't burn the whole hand off right and then now they know and I have adopted basically the same principle because I used to be the guy who said I told you so, I told you so and people just, it doesn't matter how many times you try to help in that manner it's not until things go really really bad where and things fall to shit where people start saying that oh yeah this was probably not so good and the way I see it if that's the way, the only way, I'm sad that it is that way usually but if that's the only way we're going to make progress, then I have to be the one who changes and allows things to sort of just fall apart. So what I want you to take away from this is that usually when I'm silent, it's either because I'm in a group of people where I'm not 100% sure that I can just be myself because there's always, like, I mean, if you try to express your, explain yourself even the nicest way and so forth and you have ideas or thoughts that may be controversial may not be completely palatable it's very dangerous to express any thoughts in today's society i mean it's always been that case if you really are honest about it uh, and the other situation is usually when i'm dealing with people where i can't really i can, they, we can't have a rational conversation about it either because they don't know any better or maybe I don't know any better or because it's an emotional thing like the, this is this whole conversation is not about engineering decisions or so for this about you wanting to use that library or you trying to justify to everybody else that this thing is very important when it's really just about you these sorts of conversations uh, they usually don't end with anything meaningful and when I don't have any authority or I can't really influence it I sort of just let it happen uh, the way I usually express explain it is that think of yourself as being on the Titanic so you, if you see the iceberg coming, you tell people there's an iceberg coming. And then if they tell you that they don't believe you, then go and just sit in the lifeboat. Because if you start causing a ruckus and you start causing a lot of problems for everybody, they're sooner or later going to be annoyed with you. They're still not going to believe that the iceberg is coming. They're just going to put you in the brig and then you go down with them. But if you just tell them, you have done your part, you've been a good Samaritan. Now go and sit in the lifeboat, take out a book and wait for the whole thing to collapse and then you row yourself to land. Uh, that's what I suggest. Have a great day.